Let's go. Yo. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. Good if you were morning, there, everybody. My goodness, it was cold this morning. It's nice near this fire, let me tell you. Four degrees it was this morning. But at least the sun's shining. For how long, I don't know. It's looking very grey. Out over there, very, very grey. Oh well. It's been pouring and pouring rain this last week. All right, my last piece arrived for me to. Oh, why are my batteries to my inverter? I won't tell you how much this switch is, but this is the regulation standard switch. Let me turn some more lights on, please. My batteries are doing extremely well and. Um, they almost got full yesterday. That's how dark it was, and they charge really quick. There we go. Okay. It's quite simple. Big heavy duty DC switch. Big heavy duty DC switch. Big, big heavy duty. Okay, and this is a special box. I won't tell you how much this all cost me, people because some of this will fall over. But, uh, this is a special box, let's see, open. It's got all the cable glands, everything in there, amazing. Mounting. Yeah. Well, that's my job for the day. So today I'm going to uh, install this and this and drink me coffee. And I've also got an electrician coming later on. All right, so I'll get back to you later on when I'm uh, working on the install. Uh, how are you going, YouTube? All right, so we've got the uh, Blue Sea 1000 amp hour bus bar in. Now I'm just about to uh, crimp all the ends on these wires and then put the heat shrink on uh, and then put the, the big uh, protected DC circuit breaker in. Um, right now the house is running off. Oh dear. I'm a bit sore but right now that is running a house and as you can hear it's just idling. I, I got a very efficient house. Um, it's just idling. So this is what it looks like in when I when I step back. Okay, so the bus bars down the bottom, the switch is there. Once I've got this, now this is in the book for this inverter, it recommends uh, 50 millimeter squared, and same as the switch. I mean, it's only a short distance, it's under a meter. Um, so that'll more than carry the surge loads. Um, but you wouldn't be able to get anything bigger than that through those holes anyway. Or any, any bigger lugs that actually fit inside here. Because if you go to 70 mil squared, the lugs don't fit. Huh. All right, there's an update for you. Okay, so we got the switch wired in, as you can see. Now down the bottom, 
uh, and at the top I need to put a piece of rubber. I've already got one out, but there's a groove here. You just put it in the groove and then it goes down there like that and separates well and truly so there can not be any arcs between the two ever it's a pretty ingenious uh, way of doing it can you go get the lid love I've still got to do the caps up at the top and at the bottom and I've still got to connect these to the uh, bus bar but very soon now I'll be able to turn that noisy generator off all right um, so this is what the top looks like hold that again for me please love so the, the top just fits on there like that it's locking that's unlocked that's locked all right turn it off love all right there you go it's almost finished can anyone guess why that's still not correct anybody can guess why that's still not correct I'll tell you why it's still not correct because those two terminals are exposed okay that's about to be fixed um, I'm just gonna put a piece of perspex over this now and uh, that's a done job um, I haven't got the perspex yet but I will have so there you go pretty big uh, circuit breaker the solar electrician's been here today he was pretty impressed with what I was doing here uh, we're just waiting on him when did he say he'd get back with a quote Monday you Monday. get back with a quote um, he was really impressed with me wire because most of them just use crappy Chinese battery cable and what happens to that after a few years all the plastic just falls off it all right i use good quality australian made 99.9 .9 pure copper zero oxygen content double insulated wire all right and uh yeah you can't beat that you can't beat that cable that's what that all looks like there you just go youtube let me step back we just got to clean up the mess now but, uh, untidy the cabinet up again but, so these are all sealed and what happens when it gets to 35 degrees in there that fan turns on and there's an automatic fan door just there and it just pushes the air straight through this cabinet and straight out that vent um, it works tr quite good quite good all right if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up there's my old bus bars my old circuit breaker uh, that's no longer correct um, yeah anyway if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up um, or a thumbs down you know whatever tickles your fancy I, I'm, I don't mind either way really both help my channel and please comment we really love it when you comment or leave a emoji or you know that does really help my, my channel along and uh, Ziggy and I both really appreciate it people all right so uh, once I clean the mess up but it's good to uh, almost have it finished almost uh, there's a cap there I still need to tighten as well I'll get to that but she's looking good and that silver stuff by the way this is insulation is fire rated non-conductive um, so yeah because I know some of you will say oh that's mighty close to that aluminium foil that's not aluminium foil calm down people calm down all right keep safe everyone bye for now